Welcome to the Windows Club. The Windows 10 device settings are an excellent improvement over its predecessors and I'll explain you how. First of all, let's access these settings. Click on the start button. Select the settings option. Go to devices. And on the left side, you can see all the options. The first tab is Bluetooth and other devices. Basically, you can use it to add Bluetooth devices using the plus symbol here or wireless devices or Xbox. Then you can change the options related to it and the Bluetooth devices show here. Next, printers and scanners. Now, if you remember in that good old era, you would have to open the control panel each and every time you had to add a printer. And adding a printer was a complicated process which a layman found difficult to learn. So here is the method to add a printer. Simply go to this tab, click on add a printer. It will search for the printers connected to your computer. And if the driver is present, it will connect it. That's how easy it is. Next is with the mouse. You may not have known, but you can change the primary button from the left one to the right one for your mouse. You can change the cursor speed of your mouse. You can change the times the number of lines roll when you scroll your mouse and a lot more. Rather, there's a lot more options under the additional mouse options menu. Next, we go to touchpad. We can enable or disable the touchpad using the option mentioned here. And you can use the options here to scroll and roam and even change the three figure gestures. For example, the multitasking view by pressing three figures up and you can show the desktop by pulling down the three fingers and then you can switch between apps by using the three fingers right and left next we come to typing here's an interesting thing if you are using the software keyboard on your computer then automatically the text suggestions are on and if you are using the hardware keyboard they are not on automatically and you can switch them on here. So this is a very interesting section of the devices menu. Now with pin and windows ink, I don't have the pen, but if you wish to use the pin and windows ink, you can use it from this tab. Next, it's about autoplay. Whenever you connect a removable drive to your computer, at times it has a single video. And if that single video or audio is set to autoplay, then it will play automatically. However, such options are not chosen on my computer right now, but I can change it using the menus mentioned here for memory card, removable disk and Canon and in some computer CD and DVD drives too. Lastly, for USB, if I connect a USB, I may or may not get a notification and that is managed through here. Isn't this a very interesting article? If you have any doubts, please go to this original article on the Windows Club. The link has been shared in the description section. Scroll down to the comments and write your query. We will surely answer to it. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.